all right youtube so today we will be talking about this ufc event wait what is this a ufc 4 event with two cod players what let's talk about it Jay! all right so nick Merckx uh basically came out saturday uh and said hey we're me and ten attack man gonna be doing the event with the ufc can't say too much and then the ufc they did like a little promo during it and honest honestly honestly speaking it rubbed me and a lot of people in the ufc 4 community the wrong way um me personally in my opinion but before i even get into my opinion let me explain what this event is going to be all right so you got tin the tab man and nick mertz two people who've never played ufc 4 before they're gonna be playing ufc 4 and coached by actual ufc fighters who in fact haven't played ufc 4 before but wait there's more there's gonna be a apex legend tourney are you fucking serious bro so 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 let me get this straight you got two people in nick burst and ten attack man who've never played ufc 4 before so that that's one problem then you got ufc fighters that are going to be coaching them who've never played ufc 4 that's another problem and then you're telling me on top of that instead of having an actual ufc 4 tournament you're gonna have an apex legend tournament you fucking serious ufc now obviously the reason why i would be I, i'm not mad i'm more so disappointed and it this rubs me the complete wrong way this this is bullshit i'm not gonna lie this is number one bullshit so i'm going to show y'all what i said basically this is this is what i responded to that same day basically it was like no offense but this is straight bullshit which it is the ufc can sit up here and promote cod but not ufc4 let me say this this ain't this ufc first time doing this bullshit they full on promoted cod over the summer series not too long ago it was like they, they had that con tournament then a few years a few months later it was the summer series i mean in in the sense they kind of i mean not you at the ufc itself didn't promote ufc 4 did they put it in the game you know what they put the little cards at the bottom of like daily goal objectives y'all know what the fuck i'm talking about they they, they so they they, they semi promoted it that's a win but this ain't the ufc first time doing some shit like this it, it ain't their first time you know what i'm saying the uh last time it was like max holloway hosted a damn card event with the ufc like so you're telling me the ufc would rather host a game that has absolutely nothing to do with fucking mma you know they would just rather do that because it's gonna bring more eyes over that their actual esports that's fucking insane to me i don't that and this is the problem with these made these big companies they value money and and viewership over the actual hardcore fans i promise you if they would have promote to give the esfl a push i promise you they probably bro they would have a great product you got you already have a core fan base with mma fans right you got a core fan base with mma fans and now you're telling me mma fans get to watch pro ufc 4 players play ufc 4 with their favorite fighters at a high level tell me who wouldn't watch that come on now but anyways let's continue i say the esfl is coming off of a w live event and yet y'all are entertaining and promoting shit that has nothing to do with mma do better and this is facts this this has nothing to do with fucking mma yet they're promoting it it's just frustrating bro honestly speaking it's very frustrating hopefully the 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 the, 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 the fuck motherfucking ufc they do better um but yeah man they, they, this is disrespectful um shout out to zach uh z hunter shout out to luber uh shout out to them um shout out to them grabzilla shout out to them um boiler man shout out to the rest of the esfl staff man it's it's gonna come bro um it's gonna come man you just gotta we just gotta be patient and we, we gotta wait but this is just super disrespectful to have two cop players play ufc4 instead of actual pro players playing ufc4 that's just fucking wild to me and that's literally fucking wild to me that you, you would have some shit like this 
<laughs> that, that just fucking baffles me. You have actual pro players who play UFC 4, but you say, hey, let's go get two cop players and play UFC 4. Rev up those fires. That in I don't know Nick and Nick Merckx and Tim the Tatman probably wouldn't care. They don't they don't fucking care. But they, this this would be uh, say for example right because Nick Merckx and Tim the Tatman are probably two of the biggest COD streamers. I say Warzone streamers. I imagine if they would have got Suave Jamie and Romero to go play. And let's say the NW2 event, there's a closed bid into NW2 event for all players, for, for, for certain players, Call of Duty, Activision. They're going to pick the players themselves, right? Imagine if fucking Suave Jamie and Zayev get to go play fucking the NW2 bait off of fucking Nick Mertz and Tin Attack, man. How you, how would you think they would feel? Disrespected. Exactly. That's how the fuck and a lot of people feel. It, this is disrespectful, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is disrespectful. That analogy may not have been the best, but it got the damn point across. UFC do better, man. Got to do better. Like I said, shout out to the ESFL staff, man. I'm I'm very optimistic in the future that the UFC will hopefully, you know, do something like this again. That was a WS live event. Hopefully that put you know the UFC in, in UFC form notice. But anyways, man, y'all let me know down below in the comments what do y'all think, man. Uh, well, I really want to hear what y'all think about this. And uh, yeah, man, peace, love, and prosperity. Love every single one of y'all. Do something productive with your day, meeting your meat. It is not productive. I'll see y'all next time, man. Y'all stay up, stay blessed, be boy. Jamie May and I'm out man. Peace.